not the cancer. You have not fucking cancer. Me. You are such a loser. How pathetic can you be? You're fat, you're ugly, you look deformed, you're poor, and you have fucking cancer, no hair, and your wig's fucking crooked, by the way, fix that. So it's a normal day for me. I wake up feeling pretty tired because I played video games all night. I hop on the bus ready to go to school, which I'm not really excited for. I go to school with all the COVID stuff. School really isn't my favorite. Um, then I get home and I pop out my phone and I'm just bored, so why not just scroll through TikTok? Because what else do I have to do with my life? I'm a 13-year-old boy. I don't have any practice. I should be studying for tests, but I don't care. But then I see this video. Not the cancer. You have not fucking me. cancer. <laughs> you are such a loser. How pathetic can you be? You're fat, you're ugly, you look deformed, you're poor, and you have fucking cancer and no hair. And your wig's fucking crooked, by the way. Fix that. Take off your wig. Don't be a pussy. Take off your wig, leukemia, bitch. <laughs> This is really what our world has come to. Bullying people because of cancer. And I have never had cancer, but that is just straight messed up. And if you guys don't know the full context, that is a girl that is a TikTok, I mean, a YouTuber. Her name's like Izzy or something. She has like 6,000 subscribers. She has a big ego. And she went on Omegle and she was pretty much bullying a girl for having cancer. Which is just straight messed up. It's, it's just messed up because people can't control that they have cancer. People can kind of control if they're fat or skinny. They can't really control the way they look, but that's just messed up. I don't care what any of y'all say. You should never make fun of anyone for just having cancer. I never had cancer, like I said earlier, but I actually know someone, someone at my middle school who actually passed away she was two years older and she was diagnosed with leukemia it's very sad because she actually survived cancer the first time but didn't the second like don't get me wrong i'm all here for dark humor but this is just messed up this is pretty much being racist but towards the cancer someone with being cancer this is just flat out hate this is just hate speech there's no other definition yes we shouldn't bully in any way, but cancer is just messed up. People are... That girl could have lost her life. She might not even be around. I think she's probably still alive, just thinking about it, but that's just messed up. She's dying, and you're taking time of the day to make fun of her just because she has cancer. But there is some good in this. Yes, I know this is a sad topic. Not really sad, but this does get you frustrated. But the, thing, the good thing is that people actually found her dad's job, and this led to her dad actually getting fired, which I don't think her dad, deserved, her dad deserved to get fired because her dad never did anything. But the sad part is she actually didn't ever apologize for her mistakes. You guys can still check. I'm not checking, but I think the video is still up. But she is getting a lot of hate, and I believe her dad actually kicked her out of the house, which is... I say that's karma. Yes, you shouldn't wish bad on anyone, but um, some karma will always bite you in the you know what in the butt. But I think I'm gonna be done talking, guys. That was just my opinion on this. This is messed up. Don't bully anyone about cancer, even if it's a joke. Cancer jokes are not funny. I might be a snowflake, but those are just my thoughts. Okay, guys, hope you have a good day, and if you have any questions about anything, make sure to leave them in the comments. Have a good one, and I'm out.